Hello there beautiful people. Welcome. Aquaba. Please, if it is your first time stopping by, you are most welcome. And my old subscribers are thank you guys so much. Thank you for being with me from day one. Thank you. Okay guys. Disclaimer, okay? I've seen this, um, <clears throat> you know, video going around on YouTube about, um, you know, Lily Pope's talking about the infidelity in her marriage and all those kind of things. And I've seen a couple of videos why, um, whereby people are just like expressing their own views according to what she said they are also talking about their own point of view like what they think about it okay so i am also here to talk about what i think my own opinion okay like how i see things like from her point of view what she was saying please do not come here and leave a hate comment down below okay you might agree with me you might not agree with me but this is my my opinion so if you don't agree with me you just say yours down in the comment section very nicely please no rude comment no insult or any other thing okay please don't just come and insult me thank you for your understanding okay I did watch Lily Pope's um, video about the infidelity, okay? And what she was saying about, you know, if your husband is cheating, it's between him and God and all those kind of things. And he will never, she will never leave her marriage because the husband cheated or whatever it is. And there are some points that I do agree with her, you know, like, first of all, what I agree with her is like what she said, um, you know, if the husband cheat is between him and the God, you understand the God, like God would actually judge the man according to what he does or whatever it is. It's actually true. But I was kind of like in the beginning of the video, I was kind of like feeling a little bit and I was like, eh, what are you saying? then she just hit it on like yeah it's, um it's between you and god but sometimes you know you will just be there and the man will just carry a disease and bring it to you and she believes that you know sometimes um if she, the wife is faithful whatever it is whatever diseases the husband brings will not get to you that is where like i actually disagree I disagree that part because you know um, it's first of all when your husband goes out to cheat without protection outside whatever disease that he contracted or whatever thing that he's bringing he'll bring it to you straight whether you've also cheated on him or you have not cheated on him it is blood you understand it's like intercourse so whatever it bringing it's like it passes down to you like straight away even if you have like your you have a um a good blood or whatever it is it it will actually get to you but it will not actually maybe like harm you in a way it's supposed to harm like somebody that is, the body is not strong or whatever it is so with that one i do not agree with her like whatever thing the husband is bringing it will definitely like get it by all means whether you get it 10 percent 5 percent 20 percent whatever it is you will still the second thing that i did agree with her was like she's saying even if the husband wants to cheat the husband should use a different separate phone she shouldn't be aware of it you know the friends her friends shouldn't be aware of it um his friends shouldn't be aware of it and all those kind of things because it's actually disgracing and everything i totally agree with her 100 percent like 200 percent let me say 200 percent because sometimes it's very embarrassing you know like when your friends like they know that your husband is cheating they've seen it 
but they are like they don't want to tell you because they might think that is actually going to destroy your marriage or whatever it is but sometimes friends are wrong what they see they have to tell you for me if you're my friend and you see my husband cheating you can tell me you understand like i'm not going straight to my husband to ask him okay my friend said this one he saw you cheating or whatever it is so is it you no you understand i will actually do my own investigation and know whether it is true or not before i confront him not just because you tell me i will just like pinpoint it to you and just like straight away give me answer or oh, this person so 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 no it doesn't work like that and sometimes it's very embarrassing when your friends know all his friends know and they will still see you and they'll still hail you oh how are you our wife how is everything ha huh? you're looking nice so oh, this your husband loves you you know like they will still be praising you they will still be smiling with you but they know what the man is doing because like he's doing what with them they're also doing the same thing and it kind of like frustration like it makes you look so stupid and so dumb that it, you don't even know what is going on if it's like poison or if it is something that actually has to kill you they can easily and what she was saying that i did agree with her was like every man cheats yes every fucking man cheats every fucking man cheats it is the nature of it and even nowadays it's like they make it looks like fashion is like it's normal if you have a wife you must have a side chick if you you're married at least you might have like one or two girlfriends it's normal which is not normal as an any normal send the same hunti said the anti and you're normal this awful say you're normal and you're normal jank pasia semna wood in them wow yes if you think it is normal to get married to a very beautiful woman she's doing everything she can she's just like giving you everything you want and you will still go outside and think it's okay to see other people it's not normal okay it's it doesn't work like that god didn't say in any part of the bible that if you get married you must have a side chick if you get married you must have a girlfriend it doesn't work so if you think like it is okay for you to do it it's not okay it takes a real man to you know appreciate the wife and just look upon all those things that he and things that she said the last thing she said that i did agree with her was like you know all this internet thing people are lying a lot yes people do lie a lot you understand people are going through so many bad things in their homes in their marriages and everything and they will still come and sit on internet as she was saying claiming oh my husband didn't do this my husband didn't do that my husband didn't do that sister I don't know what you are not you don't owe anybody you don't own explanation to anybody so why would you just come and sit down and pretend that your home is perfect you have the perfect marriage you have the perfect whatever it is like it will be like some people that you know like easily move out those things will be like adoring the person you know like oh i adore you you and your husband are so fun you and your husband are the best combination and all those kind of things nobody have a perfect marriage there's nothing like perfect marriage there's always mistake every day in and day out it's just like a school you go to school you can never finish school and when you go to school you learn things like new things every day excuse me you learn things new every day you get wrong you get it right they, they have to correct you and all those kind of that's how it works okay so those of you that will be watching other people's video you know thinking they have the best marriage they have they are the best couple or all those things it doesn't work like that you know behind closed doors it's very ugly but in the internet they will just bring you the perfect their thing like the perfect you know marriage the perfect relationship making you like you want it like that it doesn't work like that okay i totally agree with that all those people that they are coming to the internet deceiving you and the last thing i'm going to end the video is like you know sometimes it's really hard to overlook things you know to overlook what the man is doing because sometimes you have it up to here 
if you don't walk away or if you don't make the decision for yourself you might end up dying or whatever it is she says she might not want to leave her marriage other people might want to leave she has her own reason other people has their own reason but it's up to you it's up to you it's up to me it's up to everybody to decide for yourself okay whatever you think that is best decision for you you just take you don't have to look at what somebody will say somebody will think or outside people will think about you so you just have to keep quiet and stay in your marriage even if you're dying no it doesn't work like that you have to do what makes you happy you have to do what is like good for you like what it's like best for you okay so guys that's it's my own opinion based on the lily pope's video about the infidelity in the marriage please as i said no hate comment don't come here giving me hate comment like you know this is my own opinion my small own opinion okay this is what i think about her video okay so if you have any suggestion if you have any um whatever you want to write you can write it down at the comment section down below okay so guys please 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 before i go hit on that subscribe button right there please subscribe